to my channel so today I have another video hopefully this one will be short and sweet it's gonna be a quick unboxing uh, which I recently went shopping and picked up two items uh, the first one is from Hermes and it's actually a beauty product so um, on the Instagram I actually saw that they've recently released a range of eye products from mascaras um, they actually have lots of different colored mascaras which is quite fun but um not my cup of tea so i gave that one a miss but the colors that i saw were um there's blue purple red green even as well as the black mascara um my essay also told me that they will be releasing also um some eyelash serum product so that will be in the second drop which will be in a few weeks also and but anyway when i was there um the one that I actually picked up and the reason why I went into the store is to actually check out this one. So it's a new, um, they've released a new range of eyeshadows. Really, really pretty. I saw it on their Instagram and I was instantly attracted to the colours that they had. And the palette that I picked up was number six. So I'll show you guys the colours. Um, if I can find the other combination ones, I'll insert a picture and thumbnail here for you guys to have a look at, at all the other different combinations but this one is the one that I really wanted and it was actually the last one that they had in stock so it's actually quite popular so you know after the box you've got this beautiful orange you know the Hermes box Ooh. it actually came with a ribbon around the box as well my essay is all about tying the ribbons I always tell them please don't uh, but he's like it's all about the customer service and he really enjoys tying the ribbon he thinks you know that's definitely the last step just to make the whole customer experience uh, the Hermes experience but anyway um, my son was playing with it and took it off and this uh, palette I think it's the Ombres the Hermes palette and it's a set of four color eyeshadows and I'll show you mine so mine is in the number six which says Hermes Modoris. Anyway, I think I butchered that. But anyway, it's beautiful. You've got the, the Y and then you've got the emblem there. Super shiny. And you guys ready? Ta-da! Wow. Um, it comes with a mirror up the top, which is great. And then... See? Oh, that thing fell off. So you can see, so mine, um, I picked this up because it's super glittery and when Maya was swatching it, it looked amazing. The pigmentation is awesome and it's also got this, uh, it looks actually a lot brighter on the camera but it's actually a burgundy red which I love and then this gold, look at that. So. I'm not a makeup guru or pro, I'm really amateur when it comes to makeup, but I believe this is meant to be like the one that you put on the whole lid or for highlighting, like the inner corners of your eyes. Um, this is the main glitter, so you can put that on top of the base, which was that one. So that would, uh, the darker color down here, that one is kind of like a really dark brown charcoal. It's got Hermes printed on that. That one is for like, you know, if you want to use a really fine brush as an eyeliner, you can use that. And then that's for some color on the lid as well. But I will just quickly, quickly swatch these for you guys. So, um, let's have a look. So this is actually the, the base color. I don't even know if it's going to come out. The base color. Oh, there's actually meant to be a brush as well. I thought that it was meant to come with a small brush. Mm, I need to ask my essay about this. Um, but yeah, so that's the gold. Beautiful there. So the, the base colour, which is that round one there. And then, I don't know if it's going to come out on my skin colour. But I don't know if you guys can see that. Really light. And then this is the really, the, the actual gold glitter. So on here, look how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. So I think, you know, Christmas coming up. Definitely we'll try this out and play around. Um, for the Christmas parties, uh, can't really see it, but yeah, it's really pretty. Um, and then the red, red, reddish brown, can definitely that one would come up. There you go, you can see that a little bit better there. So I'll definitely play around with this, um, and can't wait. 
first I need to find where this mini brush is and I will update you guys if it does come with a mini brush I believe it does but I actually don't know where it is and the other item that I picked up is from Dior so I've actually wanted a new SLG so a small card holder for a while um, I mean I did ask my SI when I was in Hermes if they had one but they only had a few select Calvies there which is their card case um, but if I was to get a Calvi I'm more after the Calvi Duo which has that extra flap and they didn't actually have any in stock so that's okay um, I went to I went into Dior and I actually did see that Dior has recently released a new line of SLGs as well as you know their bags and this one actually caught my eye so it's actually the box is very big for a card holder but anyways um, it's gorgeous packaging they all love their box it's always in this really nice hard pebbled cardboard box you've got the beautiful bow so I'll just quickly show you guys and then Ooh. so we've got the tissue paper nicely folded and just a tidbit for those who do buy from Dior their packaging and their bags always smell really nice I think one of the last steps when they go and package your product is they would then spray one of the Dior perfumes on the packaging or on the outside of the bag so you know when you're walking around with a shopping bag and it just smells beautiful that's a really good uh, sales tactic I think uh, to increase you know the add-on buys of their products so inside got that dust bag even for a small SRG but yes it's really cute dust bag and oh I've got the card there and everybody ta-da this this is my new SLG it's a card holder I think it's called the Caro uh, vertical card holder and it just does up with a press stud here it's in that signature kind of Dior stitching that you find on the Lady Dior's and their um, handbags. So there's a flap at the back and just pops open and there you go. I think it's a really useful card case. There's quite a few different slots and even some here and here and on here there's like one, two, so there's four slots up, th up on this way, one behind here, one at the back here as well, as well as these one two three here as well so it can actually hold quite a few cards i believe and let's just do a quick switcheroo with my current card case oh, which i'll grab so i was using my little bag today look how cute i shortened my strap and plaited it if you guys want to know a quick tutorial on how i did that i will show you and it's the bag i was using today and i've got my card case so this card case from gucci i've been using it for a very long time it's about time that I retire it, so I'm just going to, yeah, switch it over and show you guys what it looks like. So I've switched over my cards. So at the back, I've decided to put all my copy cards in there. And then inside, now we've got my bank cards. Behind that, it's empty, but if I was to carry some cash, I think I'll slip it in there. Just to show you guys the embossing of Christian Dior there. And then on that side, I've got my license as well as my, you know, our health cards. So our insurance cards and very important, I've got my little, one of my favorite bubble tea place membership cards. Can't go, can't be without bubble tea. So that's in there now and small and compact. It's actually not that big. It's really cute. I love this. Um, I think it's a really good price for an SLG for this one. I think it was like $790. I mean, it's really good quality leather and stitching, um, and I love it. It's quintessential Dior. Uh, for the eyeshadow palette, it's actually 170 Australian dollars. So it is quite pricey for an eyeshadow. Um, even my essay made a comment about that. He said, oh, I think it's actually quite expensive for an eyeshadow compared to some of the other brands. But you know what? I mean, it looks, uh, the pigments and everything is still on there. It's very beautiful. So that's the gold shimmer again. So I think I'm going to enjoy playing with that and using it. But yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed today's content, 
uh, give me a like and a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you guys in another video soon. So have a good day everybody. Thanks for tuning in and watching my unboxing. Bye!